All right, today is day two of order operations. Hope everybody's having a good morning or maybe you're in the afternoon when you're watching this. But we're going to simplify or evaluate equations today by using the order of operations. PEMDAS, we talked a little bit about that on Tuesday. So let's get to some problems. Our first problem has parentheses. So as we go on our checklist here, top down, we see the parentheses. All right, and I have two operating symbols here. I have an addition sign and I have a division sign. All right, which one of those gets done first? Well, going down my checklist, I can see that I have M and D, multiplication and division. That's got to get done first. All right, 36 divided by 6. All right, you might know the division. You might turn that around if you don't like the division and say, let's do multiplication. 6 times what equals 36? 6. So I'm going to evaluate that. Some would even cross that out. They're finished with it. But I'm not finished with that parenthesis, so I'm going to bring that back. I have done nothing with my addition sign, nothing with my 6. So I'm putting those back in, and I'm going to add 11. All right, again, I'm going to start at the top of my checklist. Parentheses, still have it. Okay, so I need to do what's inside the parentheses. 6 plus 6. All righty, that's 12. I simplified that, so I can get rid of it. I haven't done anything with this addition sign or this 11. So I'll bring that down. No more parentheses, no exponents. That's a fifth grade thing. No multiplication division, just that one operator. 12 and 11 makes 23. That's as simple as we can get this expression. All right, there are no more operation signs or numbers to evaluate anymore. All right, so that's that one is finished. Let's look, a, look at another one here and see what we come up with by using PEMDAS. We're going to simplify this expression. We're going to start on the top with parentheses. We do have some parentheses, so we're going to take care. There's only one operator in here, and that's a subtraction sign. So I don't have to worry about anything there. And I'm going to get two. And that part, including the parentheses, is now done. But I have not worked with my multiplication symbol yet. And that four. I have not worked with this multiplication symbol yet. And that's six. All right, so now I have two multiplication symbols left. No more parentheses, top down, no exponents. Multiplication. Well, if they're both multiplication, I'll do it just the way I would read a book from the left to the right. So four times two is eight, and eight times six is 48. I could have gone from the right to the left, being it's just multiplication and done six times. 2 is 12 times 4 is 48. It wouldn't really matter as long as they're the same operator. All right, so that one simplifies to 48. There's no more simplifying that I can do there. Let's take a look at this problem where there's actually going to be an error. I want to look at this. I want you to look at it. Sometimes it helps to look at our symbols. I got a subtraction. I got a Division, multiplication. I'm going to start at the top here. I'm going to look for parentheses. I don't have any parentheses. I don't have any exponents. Multiplication and division. Well, they are on the same step. See how they're both in purple? Okay, so we have to work from the left to the right there. And you can see what this student did. They didn't go to the left to the right. All right, so as we look at this, what we want to do here and I'll switch this to a red so you can see. We would have wanted to, because these are on the same level, I needed to start with the division. And 12 divided by 4, again, you might not like the division, so turn it around and use multiplication. 4 times what is 12? That's 3. And that gets all of that simplified. Okay, But the multiplication symbol did not get simplified, nor did the 3, or the minus, or the 15. Okay, now I can see if I'm working top down, multiplication is going to come first. I'm going to get 9. Still have not simplified anything with that subtraction sign or the 15. Now I just have that and I end up with 6. But quite a difference here. And you can see what that student did is they tried to take care of that multiplication first. When multiplication and division are on the same step, we had to work from left to right in this case. So really, we want to have 6 here when we simplify this expression. All right, you're going to try a few more of these today. Um, 
good luck with these. Go slow uh, and use your PEMDAS as kind of a checklist to simplify or evaluate 